This camera is the first digital SLR model to feature full high-def movie recording at the highest resolution of 1920 by 1080 pixels. It will truly revolutionise the market and change the way we as photographers look at our images. Imagine being able to use a short movie clip to illustrate the behaviour of an animal, or perhaps capturing the bustle and life of a city at night, or even mixing still and moving images in a multimedia wedding disc. The possibilities are endless and it will open up a whole new way of seeing the world. The camera captures its movies at 30 frames a second, with a shutter speed that's controlled between a 30th of a second and 125th of a second. Now just because you might be shooting movies, doesn't mean you can't take still images as well. In fact, all you need to do is press the shutter button during movie recording, and the camera will capture a still. The movie will pause for a moment, but you will have one continuous movie file. Movies are saved in the MPEG-4 format, with H.264 compression as a .mov file. There are two recording size options when shooting movies, either the full high def 1920 by 1080 pixels, or a more standard definition of 640 by 480 pixels. Now, if you choose to shoot in full high def, you'll be able to capture around 12 minutes of movie data. That's the equivalent of about four gigabytes. The length will largely depend on exactly what it is you're filming. If you choose to shoot in standard definition, you'll be able to capture 29 minutes and 59 seconds of movie. When shooting in high def, you'll see on the back of the screen that the top and bottom of the screen will be greyed out to illustrate the 16x9 format in which you'll be shooting. If you choose to shoot in 640x480, you'll notice that the sides of the screen are greyed out to illustrate the 4x3 format. When shooting movies, the exposure is controlled automatically by the camera. However, you do have some level of exposure compensation available and exposure control. You can either use the quick command dial on the back of the camera to adjust the exposure, either brighter or darker, or you can use the AE lock or star button to lock the exposure. The camera adjusts the exposure by using the ISO range first. This will be in the range of 100 to 6400, unless you have ISO expansion set, in which case it will go up to 12800. The reason it uses the ISO is because this is a silent process. If the ISO range cannot be adjusted enough, then the shutter speed will be changed, and finally the aperture. Sound is also captured when shooting movies, either by the inbuilt mono microphone, which captures at 44.1 kHz at 16 bit, or by using the built in 3.5mm stereo jack plug. It's actually recommended to use an external microphone here because otherwise the internal microphone can pick up camera sounds such as autofocus or manual focus, the aperture changing, you touching the camera, turning dials or pushing buttons or even the image stabiliser noise. As if all that wasn't enough, the most amazing thing about this camera is that you're not limited to which lenses you can use. You can use everything from the EF 15mm fisheye lens all the way up to the EF 800 5.6 super telephoto lens including all the tilt and shift lenses and the macro lenses. Autofocus will also work in movie mode, but isn't recommended as the autofocus motor can be picked up by the internal microphone. When shooting movies, there are several options as to how the live view screen is displayed. If you plan on shooting movies, then you're better off selecting movie display only. However, if you think you're going to spend more time shooting still images in live view, then you're better off just selecting live view stills display instead. For more control over the look of the movies that you shoot, you can also use picture styles, just as you can when shooting still images. In the live view screen, you can see, select and adjust any of the picture styles and get a live preview of exactly the adjustments you've made. You could also use Picture Style Editor, the supplied software with the camera, to create your own picture style and upload it back onto the camera. In this way, you can ensure that the movies you shoot have exactly the look that you want. Equally, if you plan on mixing stills and movies, you can ensure that they both look the same when you put them together afterwards.